And uh, I wanted it more than any part I've ever read before or since. I related to the part more than I knew at the time. I mean, I knew I related to it and I wanted to play it, but I related to it on levels I wasn't yet aware of. And I had to audition for it seven times. And the, direct, and the director, Bill Phelps, did not see a surfer. And he was like, this guy is not our surfer, you know? And I knew in my heart that I was a surfer. I was born and raised a surfer and I was, I was an actor. But I could play a surfer and I knew it, but the, he didn't buy it at first. I was fat and pudgy and pale, brown hair, you know? They decided to give me a shot. I'm, I went over to Hawaii early before the production, got a house right at Pipeline, right at Pupakea Beach, where I used to go when I was a kid anyway, and just would sit out in the park and watch the surfers and listen to the surfers and, and, and you know, transform myself. And so by the time the production crew came over there and they were getting ready to shoot, I had, you know, become this completely different guy. And thanks mostly to Brian King, who originated the part of Turtle, his real name is Turtle, and they based the character loosely on him. He picked me up at the airport and I had him move in with me and live with me and explain everything in the script because it was a whole new way of talking and a whole new dialogue. I think they invented words. He invented words in this script that now have become part of the surfing lexicon, like Barney. You know, I'm like, what does this mean? And no, you know, or not. And stuff. This was way before it became part of the culture of, of you know, American surf talk. And we have an opportunity to play surfers living the dream on the North Shore. I grew up with posters from surfer and surfing on my wall. Jerry Lopez was my hero. Laird Hamilton, when I met Laird Hamilton, you know, I was sitting there watching him surf eight foot backdoor pipeline and he would be in the tube from when he took off to when he kicked out. Mark Ocalupo, who is as good now as he was then, I mean, he's at the top of his game. He won the world championship. He's winning contests now in Indonesia. He was ripping then, he had his own style then, and he's just a funny, interesting guy. I'd go get coffee free from the truck and come up to the wardrobe and I'd see Matt in the makeup trailer getting, you know, a scar put on or something, and me'd be with him, this beautiful girl, you know, who's really nice, you know, and, and that's his love interest, and he was going to make out with her that day and something, you know, and they're talking and laughing, and I'm drinking coffee, feeling a little left out, and I'm like, what are you doing today, Matt? He's like, oh, me and me are going to... I'm gonna like get cut and then we're gonna go for a horseback ride down the beach and then we're gonna like make out down this and I'm like, oh, that's great. And if, uh, you know, I was like, oh, that guy's really working to lead the movie and he would go, what are you gonna do today, John? And I go, I think I'm gonna go surf pipeline. <laughs> which was, which is a pretty great consolation. Gregory Harrison, I was intimidated by him when I first, when I first met him. You know, I still am a little intimidated by him. He was just a very experienced actor who had a family, you know, and he was older. And I was, I was, you know, I really looked up to him. I admired him, and uh, I and I only got to work with him a little bit because he was really hanging out with the other lead of the film, Matt Adler, all the time. And I felt like the odd man out. But as time went on, and I got to surf with Gregory Harrison and shoot scenes with him, he became this really generous guy. I mean, he was really nice to me. We'd work a scene like in the shaping shop where I find that board that I'd made to try to impress him, you know, and he would let me have the scene. That movie changed my life. I moved to Hawaii because of that movie. That movie is my favorite movie, you know. My kids watch that movie in court. Like, I teach surfing now, and I have clients whose children quote the North Shore to them all the time, and my clients didn't know that I was the guy in the North Shore until, like, maybe a month into working together, and they're like, I was turning on my kid's favorite video like I do every morning and he's quoting lines to me and I look at what he's quoting and I've seen it a hundred times and I realize it's you.